Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Men's Chapter House. If you uh, don't want to listen to my silly voice and talk about nonsense, go ahead and just turn off that volume. I know a lot of people don't like uh, watching videos with nothing, so the only reason I add this stuff in is for uh, copyright purposes. So <clears throat> Here I'm going to explain that I, I'm not entirely sure if he wants to start standing or sitting, and we uh, start sitting. <clears throat> Here he's going to basically compress the legs together, which is actually very smart. Um, here I'm just going to gain back that knee shield, trying to stay connected to him. Uh, connected to people is typically always better. As you see, he's uh, got good movement, and but here I'm going to connect to his top of his head and have a little bit of rotational. Uh, here we're going to go into case. Uh, thanks to Aki, I've started to end up in this case position more. And I think I like case more than I like most side control positions because uh, it causes that T shape. Um, however, I don't feel like I get control of both uh, shoulders very often. That's why I don't think I experimented with it very much. And here you'll see I do that 100% sweep. And I basically just come up into high mount. Uh, I'm not like super high, but I am definitely not uh, low on his hips. And then he extends his arm. And here I'm just... I show him that his elbow is in danger. Uh, it's hard to take one of those slow sometimes if you are just snatching and grabbing. Uh, I don't uh, like to snatch and grab and uh, be in a falling motion, especially when people are pressing you. You're like, oh, that's super easy. Um, however, it uh, can be a little dangerous. <clears throat> I'm not entirely sure what he tapped to there. However, um, it may have been uh, on the other side where I could not see. Um, I don't remember throwing an Americana on or something, but I may have. And here you can see I'm working um, the Kimura trap. Uh, and from that top position, I'm gonna not do a Kimura. I'm basically just gonna walk his arm out, I believe. And once I walk his arm out, that's gonna be um, the tap. So, like, a shoulder can only rotate so much once you isolate its um, ability to rotate. And if you just raise someone's arm, that's an arm bar by itself, or I should say a shoulder lock by itself. Uh, here he's controlling my, my knees, passing them by. And he's going to try to take my back, and I'm just going to lay down. And then, oof, ding his, his head. Silly knee bar. I shouldn't do knee bars. Knee bars aren't... Uh, legal in the tournament I'm going to, so not something I should be practicing just yet. My uh, my next tournament after that, they are legal, so I just need to be cognizant not to uh, to do that. We're getting a little crowded right here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're going to move back a little bit because, you know, no one wants to get knocked in the noggins by feet. He's going to swoop into side control. Um, here I'm going to use a, the ghost escape basically and then end up in guard. Um, I don't typically use the ghost escape for anything other than ending up in guard. Here he's just pressing down one of my legs and he overcommits his balance to one side. And then I'm just watching these people because I don't want to get kicked in the face. I don't want him to get kicked in the face. And here I'm just holding him. And then. Here it comes. <laughs> I looked away for one second. <laughs> Those dudes were going at it for uh, no reason. <laughs> They're just having fun, though. He's going to lead with his head. Um, be careful doing that. Um, obviously, you can get a lot of reaction from it. But again, when you lead with your head and you get overextended, it means it's very easy to manipulate. Uh, once your head gets a certain distance away from your hips, your back is already uh, basically fully extended. Um, if that is the case, you are very uh, vulnerable to like shoulder and hip rotation. You're going to see I can feed that into um, his body control to be able to rotate him. I'm pretty sure that's the end of this video, though. So, uh, I hope you guys have a good one. And uh, thank you guys for watching. See you all in the next one, alright? Bye-bye.